Alrighty, for this job, you will need a three quarter inch wrench, a five eighths inch wrench, a nine sixteenths inch wrench. You will need your favorite ratchet. I also used about a four or six inch extension, three quarter inch socket. I have a nine sixteenths inch socket, deep, doesn't really, you don't really need any deeps, this is what I had, half inch deep, and a five eighths regular wrench. Uh, may also need a rat tail file for opening up some holes, and some thread lock, you will need some thread lock, it's called out the instructions. So, puppy dogs are optional. They do help though, even if they're not yours, neighbor's dog. So, I also used a little WD while I was drilling. You need your favorite drill motor. And in this case, I have a 31 64 inch bit. That's just the biggest that I had on hand. It was close enough. The file helped with the rest. I also uh, printed out the instructions from Off Road Design for this particular kit. So, with that, let's get started. What's up? Got you back here at the Jimmy. We're going to do the uh, steering box brace from Off Road Design on this truck. We've uh, got a ton of footage I haven't even put up yet of the blue truck. It was cracked. I don't think it was anything I did, but uh, I'll have to get that up, maybe even throw some pictures in of the old truck. But, uh, we're going to go step by step, show you how this goes on. It's going to be real easy because there's no front metal on this truck. So, do that, probably swap the shocks, but that's something else. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, the instructions call out to remove the topmost forward bolt from your steering box. It's this one right here. Head is on the inside of the frame rails. Now that is going to be a 5 8 Flip the screen over so I can see what's going on. Get in your way here. I have not loosened anything. So there should be a spacer behind here too. Not quite. Some bolt and crusty spacer. Set that up there. Alrighty, next we have to remove this bracket. It's only held on by two bolts going through the cross member. This is the cross member, here's your frame rail. Here's your steering box. That is a 9 16 Have a bolt head on the opposite side. The line is staying pretty solid in place. Set that aside.
Don't lose the washers. Okay, so we're going to reuse the factory bolts that just came undone. This is going to go on in this fashion. Now these are painted. These come unpainted from the supplier. Line this up like so. I'm going to run a new bolt. Now if it doesn't line up, you get a file or grind. Mine seems to line up just fine. So I'm gonna go get some thread lock and get on these threads. Alrighty. See if we can get our hands in back here. So this bracket just sandwiches in between. Placement washer. And my other bolt is right down here. I'm going to snake this guy around. sure the purpose of this particular bracket is it doesn't bolt into the side of the frame for whatever reason. I never said to take anything out. It says to put it back in, so that's what we're doing. And he's just kind of floater, floating retainer type. Coming back and torquing these. Come on, let go. Okay, let's get this top one down and then move on to the rest of it. Alrighty, now we get to remove the rearmost two power steering bolts and sleeves. Sorry, Rusty. Only because I took the rust out of it. Hmm. One bolt with sleeve. Holy cow, I've got a picture of blueberry too. Well, do you mind? I'm trying to do a professional video over here. It's not going to happen around here. <laughs> well, it was coming out good. Keep in mind, we still got the two forward bolts in, so we're not going to hopefully drop the steering box. Alrighty. Removed. Okay. So here's the new main brace. It will sit on like this. Your flat will go to the back of the truck. It's notched to clear brake lines and what not. Now I undid the bolt from this clamp here, holds your power steering lines and your two brake lines. I've also undone down on the cross member, there's a bolt that holds your brake lines. That pretty much lines up with this, and we do have to drill, so we may be set we may be good on that. So the instructions call out. a little bit more. The 
we will attempt to install this with the two seven sixteenths bolts. No thread lock at this time. We will be removing this quite quickly. This is to get your alignment so you can mark and double check to make sure the alignment for that wrong socket. There's no extension. There we go. Now we're cooking. snug. So we do have a bit of a gap, but that's okay. So you can use washers to fill that. And our hole does not quite line up, but I think we'll be able to work with that. Okay, so our hole does not completely line up. That was uh, for this bracket here, uh, but we're just going to go ahead and use it. Normally, for the instructions, we would bolt this thing in, get it lined up, roughly find the center, make a mark on the inside of your frame rail on your cross member, pull this back out, and start drilling. We are just going to use that factory location. Now this particular truck is a 1991 model year. I don't know when that hole was put in there. I know when I did this on the 89, that hole was also there. Let's go the right direction. So it makes, easy, makes uh, drilling a bit easier. And you're not supposed to use the palm as an impact. Don't lose these. I'll be thread locking them here in a minute. Out of the way. Drill motor. I am running a 3164th bit, which is the biggest one I could find in the collection. And I did grab a little WD just to help cutting fluid action.
Of course that bit probably wasn't big enough. Yeah, we're gonna have to at least pull it on the passenger side and up a little bit, I think. Let's get this run back down so we can see for sure. Grab a handful of washers. Oh yeah, we gotta go way up and outboard. Not even close. Alrighty, a little rat tail file action and we are in. We are good. So, we'll uh, get some spacers in there and get things uh, bolted up. Alrighty. This is my steering brace. This is my cross member. There's a gap in between the two. It's okay. It's called out in the instructions. Just take a couple of flat washers, fill in that gap. That's what I have to do to mine, which is fine. I do the same thing to the last truck. Now this new bolt is just a little bit different. I think there's a burr inside there that is catching the threads. But I'm using that to my advantage. Because now I can thread it in. Helping with getting the washers lined up. Okay, so we are pretty good. We got plenty poking through that side. Got a little bit of a gap there, so that'll suck up. We're almost at the end of our threads. Always tighten from the nut side unless it's called out in the engineering grind. Look at that, just barely poking through. Alrighty, so for my next trick, we're going to pull these out one at a time, and we're going to get the thread locker on those. to share with you all that I am sitting downwind from a Doberman pincher with gas right now. these once we get everything in
Brady. Grab us a torque wrench. Let's see what we can do.